G'day and welcome to another vlog on the farm. What we're doing today is something that should have been done like 50 years ago. Probably not in this heat because um, this heat is absolutely unbearable. We've been getting little showers of rain over the last week and um, what that's created is just this severe humidity on top of your 35 degrees. Last week it was like over 40 degrees for a few days. So it's, it's hellish. But anyway, these are the sheep yards. This is where everything goes on from, um, from marking of lambs to drafting, which is sorting them out from different mobs, uh, from treating any sick ones, and then also, as you can see by the big shearing shed over there, uh, shearing. And then, and then of course with my lamb operation, you, uh, you've got to do all the weights and everything like that to make sure you send a perfect weight each week. So this is all the action right in the centre. The whole farm is, um, is all different paddocks on a rotation system with laneways right through the the guts of it, which bring all the sheep straight in here, which make it fairly easy. But of course, one of the things that you really want to do with um, with sheep farming is not work in the middle of the day, like we are right now. So we're putting in all this water system so that every pen has water. So if we don't quite get the sheep finished um, by starting really early in the morning and having that four or five hours in the morning session, well then we can leave the sheep in the yards, let them cool down, let them have a drink, and then come back in the afternoon to make sure that we've got them completely sorted. And also if we're trucking, sheep, um, you can leave the sheep in the yards overnight with some hay and, uh, and truck them very early in the morning because usually the trucks come about 4 or 5 in the morning so you can't exactly go, uh, go getting sheep out of the paddocks in the dark. So if you want to have a look at our system, we've got about 3 feet under the ground, we've got our water pipeline which is uh, a, um, a rural, rural pipeline, it's a bit cheaper than the normal one and uh, hopefully lasts just as long and, uh, and every every gateway so that we've got access to every single pen we've got uh, little couplings and the couplings allow us to um, to join in the water system so you've got a little cap that goes over the top of it like that and then you've got your little coupling so that you can access it by hose and then so this pen oh, this is this this water point obviously does this pen here this pen here and this pen here and then what we've made up is some homemade homemade troughs and then we put a little hose on the end with those couplings on it, with, with female, female. And then what that does is just join into there. So wherever you've got the sheep, you put in a trough. So you don't have fixed troughs in, which are quite expensive and also can get in the way. But when you get sheep there and they're left, left for a break, you can put the water in. So it's fresh water, it's cool, and um, the sheep love you. So there's our array of couplings. From this mess here, we're going to build a beautiful, perfect water system. But I tell you what, if I keep gas bagging to you guys, I'm um, not going to get what we need done done. So I better get back to work so we are able to get the sheep in this afternoon and um, try it out. 